Okay. You are so welcome for getting you off task. All right. So wh what we're going to do for this problem, ladies and gentlemen, is we want to go ahead and apply the transformation. Now, there's a transformation vector, Camillo, that we have right here. And the transformation vector is right here, right? So we have three coordinates that we know we can plot. And we have to make sure we plot the three coordinates. Guys, if you get stuck on the transformation, at least plot the three coordinates, right? You have coordinates. You have an x and a y coordinate. Plot the coordinates. So I'm going to go and do that first, and then we'll talk about the transformation vector. So j is at negative 4, negative 4. And remember, guys, it's very, very important when you are plotting these, label the point. All right? So we have j's right there. k is at negative 2, negative 1. And then we have l, which is at positive 2, negative 4. And then the original thing says it's a triangle, which we can confirm this is a triangle. Okay? Now, whatever we do to this, Whatever we do to this, remember the new coordinates or the new label of the points are going to be what we call the prime points, right? So if we need to look at our transformation vector. And remember, we can identify this transformation vector by these pointed parentheses. And remember, what the point parentheses say is we're going to now transform this by the vector 2, 5. And what that is telling you is to shift two units to the right and five units up. Yes, if the x is negative, you would shift it to the left. When it's positive, you shift to the right. If the y was positive, you'd shift it up. If it was negative, you'd shift it down. All right. And then another way that I like to do this, ladies and gentlemen, is one thing you can do is take the transformation vector and let's plot that transformation vector from the origin. So this tells you, if you're going to plot, think of this as a point, 2 comma 5 from the origin. Over 2, up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what we're going to do is we are going to move this figure in this direction, the length of this vector. So what I can do is for every single one of my points, for every single one of my points, I can take this vector and apply it and move it for each one. So let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. So I can go from each point, I can go over 2, up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Over 2, up 5. Over 2, up 5. So do you guys see what I did is I took this vector, my transformation vector. I graphed it from the origin. This is just another way I'm showing you guys how to do this. And they're telling me to take all of my points, shift them over two units, and shift them up five. So what I did is from each one of my points, I applied the transformation vector. Now I have my new three points that I can now go ahead and sketch. And then I can just label them. That's k prime, that is l prime, and that is j prime. Does everybody see what I did or have any questions on that? Thank you. Yeah, you could also just take a look at this and say, you could also just add to each one and say, all right, well, j prime then is negative 4 plus 2, comma, negative 4 plus 5, right? And then you could say, well, j prime then is equal to uh, negative 2, positive 1. And let's see, is that where j prime is? Negative 2, up 1. And yes, the same thing. So you can algebraically transform each of your points and then replot them. Or you can also just look at the graph and apply what the transformation vector is, apply that to each other point, and then regraph it. Okay? So just a kind of food from thought, there's some multiple ways for you guys to go ahead and apply this stuff. Does everybody feel okay with that, transformations?